quick video on pretty much the best peptide suppliers I've come across online, which is honestly, it's, there's, it's a very limited number of suppliers that are really trustworthy. And I want to kind of share the information that I've learned, you know, point you guys towards the couple suppliers that are trustworthy based on community feedback, you know, based on my own research, my own experience. Um, just because the online market is, it's the wild west. It's a complete shit show, it's unregulated. When you purchase direct online, you are purchasing for research purposes only. It's not for human consumption. If you look on any website, that's how they're listing these. And it is it is a gray market, there's no regulations on this. So you really need, and when it comes to injecting something in your body, you need to be 100% you know, sure that you know what you're injecting. Where it's, like I said, these and kind of the ugly truth with this online market is, no, there's very few suppliers. I, well, let me correct that. There's almost no suppliers that actually synthesize their own peptides. You know, in order to pe do peptide synthesis, you need a biochemist. You need, you know, a quarter million dollars worth of equipment. Now, these online suppliers that don't look very professional and literally are just buying, they're buying wholesale online. If you go on Alibaba, you can find this stuff. Like I've had, you know, pretty much Chinese wholesalers reach out to me asking if I want peptides and Really, you know, they're they're asking like the starting prices are like five or six dollars for BPC one five seven, which tells you it's coming direct from the manufacturer. It's the cheapest you're gonna find. Now, I'm not saying that Chinese peptides are bad because a lot of peptides, a lot of pures, and a lot of um, you know, the compounds come from China. The problem is when it's not batch tested. So that you need to be checking for quality. You need to be checking for purity like this stuff. You need to be looking for quality reports. When you purchase from a website, they need to have an updated HPLC. You need to see an HPLC. You need to see third-party testing. And the vial should have batch number on it. So if you're buying vials that have like a, you know, kind of a janky looking label slapped on it, and um, I'm not going to name names of these, some of these places, but they, they're not batch testing. Batch testing is expensive and for the prices that a lot of these places are, are selling for, it's they're they're purchasing direct, they're slapping a label on, and they're selling direct to you, and they don't know. They're trusting that whoever's selling it to them, the wholesaler, is actually producing quality peptides. And if there's a bad batch that comes through, they're not going to know. Um, and in my experience, you know, when I got into peptides, I the first the first supplier I tried was Peptide Sciences. They're one of the most popular ones I've seen online. They are the most expensive. Um, but I had great results with them. They had all the quality reports, um, everything to kind of back it up. And after that, I did what a lot of people do. I'm like, all right, this works. These, those are kind of expensive. I'm like, let's, let me just try a bunch of different suppliers and, f and try to find the cheapest stuff. And that's what I did. And, you know, I kind of went dumpster diving and I tried a lot of suppliers that honestly, the effects weren't the same. I didn't know. I mean, who knows what was actually in that stuff. And a lot of times what you find is, Okay, it might be an okay peptide, but you're paying for, you know, 10 milligrams of BPC and they've run studies. This has happened where they, they've checked to see what's actually in that vial. And half the times it's, it's, you're getting five milligrams or less where it's just, there's no way you can put a label on any of this stuff. There's no way to look at it and be like, okay, this is 10 milligrams or this is two milligrams because they're adding mannitol to it, which is just a filler. So it's going to look all the same. There's no way to know without testing. So Really what I did is, I mean, it came down to, I just listened to the community. I did a lot of research, you know, the Facebook groups are great where it's like, if you, you know, you kind of bounce around in them and keep asking people who they trust, generally you're going to, you're going to come across, you know, peptide sciences. Um, there's limitless life nootropics. And the other one was, was can lab. Um, honestly, at this point in time, I'm not sure what, what's going on with can lab. They had some issues with Canada health, which is their regulation. And you know, I'm here in week to week. Sometimes, you know, people are saying they're back up and running. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they can, they can't sell to Canada. So I'm just not sure what's going on with that one. But that was, that's, those are the three. That's it. Those are the only ones I, I trust. Um, and like I say, I, I went dumpster diving. I tried, you know, much cheaper suppliers. Um, I mean, like I said, I'm not going to name names, but in generally, I didn't have reactions from them. A few times I did, but the other thing was just like, I didn't see the same effects. It wasn't like, it wasn't the pronounced difference. They said, hey, like, yo, this, is, I could tell like, hey, this is really working. Um, and so it came down to, and it's like the, the savings didn't really, it, it didn't add up to enough to justify like not getting the results and not knowing that I'm injecting something that is, a, you know, a quality peptide. Um, 
And the other aspect is, so I did, I did source, you know, Chinese wholesale one time because some people, I read some people talking about it and um, I will name that name. That's Soma Biotech and Chinese wholesale. I, you know, came across them online. Other people were talking about them. I'm like, all right, like this stuff is dirt cheap. Like, let me try this. Um, and I posted about this in my group. So I had, I had a scary reaction from BPC 157. So I injected sub Q in the, you know, into my belly fat and within five minutes I had hives all around that area, the skin was red hot. My face, my entire body started to flush. My face went beet red and was, you know, I've never felt anything like that. And then I started to have severe chest pains, like sharp shooting pains, almost like my like heart was like cramping really badly. And from my research after that, I looked up, it says like a severe histamine reaction. And honestly, at the time, I'm like, I was about to go to the ER because I'm like, ah, this was a bad decision. I think I'm gonna die, um, which sounds crazy, but yeah. Um, and so after that, I had the joy of, so all of a sudden I couldn't use BPC anymore because I was getting immune responses where it's like I developed an antibody re or immune reaction to BPC for an entire year. And at that time, BPC was helping me so much with my gut, you know, so much with just the ADD and like, you know, dopamine regulation that I didn't want to stop taking it. So every time I took it, I would sneeze about 15 times. I would get brain fog and like, it still helped me, but I was like, I had all of a sudden, like I had developed an immune response because of this. And that's, and that's possible. Like say this, and this happens. We have people that come in the community and report stuff like this, where they're trying really cheap suppliers. And then they're like, Oh, I had a reaction to BPC. And we're like, okay, well, so where are you purchasing it from? And they're like, Oh, you know, so-and-so on a random supplier that I've never heard of in five years, you know, talking to thousands of people. So it's, a, if I've never heard of a supplier, you know, first thing I'm doing, I'm skeptical. I'm going to the site. I'm looking to see if they have any reports. Um, and like I say, it's a 50, 50 shot. If it's, you know, if you're buying what you want, but at least in my opinion, you start with the best, the, the highest quality peptides you can afford. You know, if, if you have a lot of money, you can just start with a, a compound in pharmacy, you know, talk to a clinic, talk to a doctor, like at least that it's like these places are FDA regulated. They should, they should be going by the book. I'm not saying that compound and pharmacies are perfect either. And honestly, the, the difference in effects and quality, what I've noticed from, cause I've used a lot of, I've used compounded pharmacies. I, I partner with a telehealth clinic for my consulting and coaching. So it's, I've used these, you know, I've used them myself and the effects are, there's no, there's no difference between compounded pharmacies and limitless and peptide sciences can lab. The effects were all the same and the cost from the online stuff was probably about, you know, I'd say a quarter is significant difference. You're finding a terrible price gouging in, um, you know, these compounded pharmacies and the clinics, but it is what it is. Like I say, I mean, maybe you can find a good deal. I'm not trying to sway people one way or another. Uh, just trying to present you the options in a true look at what the, you know, what this online market is and what you need to understand with, with kind of doing this stuff. Um, and like I say, like there is, you need to accept, you know, kind of the risk. Cause it's when you purchase, when you buy online, you know, there's no liability. These, these suppliers, they don't need to give you doses. They don't need to tell you anything because it is, you are buying under the assumption that you are doing this for research. So I, I still have people come in and be like, oh, you know, so-and-so wouldn't give me the dosing. I'm like, no, they're not going to give you dosing. They're not doctors. Like they're, they're hands off. They're covering their ass by just saying, Hey, but no, you, these are yours. You need to know what to do with them. Um, and then past that, I mean, far as pricing. So the other big difference and so why I have, I typically in my group, I suggest Limitless because first of all, I know the owner. I've known this guy for years. I had the community is the one that pushed me towards him. You know, I had people that have severe Lyme, you know, I've worked with people that have Lyme and mold and they're the ones that are saying, Hey, you know, peptides are expensive. I couldn't afford peptide sciences. I've been using Limitless and I have no reactions. Everything's fine. And after, you know, so many people telling me that Limitless was, you know, trustworthy, that the quality was all there. I was like, all right, I'll talk to the owner tried it myself and you know people were accurate it's you know great products it has a very wide range i mean just about the most that i've seen online peptide science has a few that they don't have but um limits is kind of they're rapidly growing so i do have a discount code i did set up an affiliate with them it is an affiliate code um but like i say there's been i've been offered countless affiliates from peptide suppliers i don't really care i'm not going to suggest crap that i don't that i don't use myself or don't trust and that's you know in my group my community Facebook, like I'm sharing maybe, I think I have three or maybe three affiliates and it's with stuff that I've used that I trust. Like I'm not just trying to plug anything. And, um, like I say, peptide science is good. It just, they're just significantly more money. And the other aspect I like about limitless is 
you know, there's a handful of peptides that can be used intranasal. So he'll have a nasal option that'll come with the peptide. And with that, it's, you know, super easy. It's filled with deionized water. You know, a lot of people get confused and think that the peptide is actually in here because it is labeled, you know, this one is GHA, GHK copper. But so if you get the nasal, you know, you'll select that option at checkout. All you have to do is you actually open the vial up. So you take that black, this uh, metal topper off, take the plug out. You, you literally dump the, the deionized water into the vial. You shake it up. Yes, I said shake. Yes, I did say this. Peptides are not fragile. I'm sorry, this is, this is another kind of myth and concept, uh, misconception. Uh, Jean-Francois, the owner of Cane Lab, who has, you know, he has the credentials. He has a biochemist. They actually produce in-house, like this one, a few places that do that. He's, he's gone into a lot of these kind of myths and peptides are not fragile. One of the processes, the final process is where they literally like shake the shit out of it to make sure it's, it's still stable and, and test them. Um, that really actually, that stability thing comes from HGH, which is a lot, it's just a lot different. It's a much larger peptide that is actually pretty fragile, but so you can shake it and mix it up. Like it's not, you can, I'm just going to address some other kind of myths where it's like people think if they leave it out overnight, that's going to spoil. No, no, it doesn't. The peptides don't spoil. If anything, over time, they very slowly will start to break down. So they'll break down from a peptide into like free floating amino acids, which do nothing in the body. It's not dangerous. They don't go bad. So over time, you'll just have a peptide that's not, that is just a little bit lower bioavailability. Not a big deal. Um, other thing, peptide sciences, you pretty much have to spend it. You have to spend like three or $400 to get bacteriostatic water, which is the sterile solution that you mix it with limitless. It costs like seven or $8. And it's like, I got nothing against peptide science. Like they're, they are a business and they, you know, they're, I think they're one of the top ones online for sales and they get to charge what they want to charge. But in my community, all I care about is I want, I want accurate feedback and both do that. And limitless does it for less money. I just noticed there's a ketchup stain. Kids. But yeah, I thought this video was worth making. Um, oh, so I'll post, um, obviously I'll post my affiliate code in the link. I'll post my group link for, I have a Facebook group. It's about, I think we're at 9,000 9, members now. I also created a peptide education course and membership um, for people that have, because there's a big learning curve. Like I say, when I got into this, it took me three weeks. It took me three weeks of crazy research. And I, you know, my background is exercise physiology, which doesn't mean anything special. It just means that I'm, I can read literature and at a, a decent level, I'm not, I'm no genius, but I was able to figure it out and I'm pretty good with figuring stuff out, but it still took me two to three weeks to feel comfortable to have any idea what I'm doing. And then in that period of using peptides, I made Holy crap, I made so many mistakes. I misdosed, I overdosed, I, I jumped I jumped too fast with the dose and I got reactions where it's like there is, there's an art and science to this. I can help people, you know, make sure that they're using these peptides safely and effectively, reconstitute them properly, dose them properly, address all those initial concerns that just you just don't know. Like this is just something completely different. And when it comes to injecting something in your body, then yeah, you need to be a little bit more careful. And I see in my community, you know, way too much stuff that, um. I wouldn't advise anybody to do. I think my wife's about to pop in. Tina, I'm making a video. What are you doing? <laughs> That's it. Peace. My wife threw me off. I was in the middle, was ranting on about my stuff. Um, but yeah, the membership. I will post information about that in 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 the deets below. So right now I have everything. It's built into a private Facebook group. So literally it has there's nine different modules actually i have a post um i did like a sneak peek i did a video of exactly what the content is so people can look at it before you commit to um such services <laughs> um but right now i'm still running a discount where it's it's only 50 dollars to join that gives you first month of ask access after that it's just 15 dollars a month you can cancel any time so really it's just you can come in absorb all the information you want learn what you need to do and then go on your way if you want or hang around and chill with people but i will also be launching another membership because i'm trying i need to i want to get off facebook i want to back everything up off of facebook because i've been suspended for talking about random health stuff that i can't keep a track of anymore um so and I know a lot of people don't want to be on Facebook. So I, I created, a, I have a private platform that's going to be launching this year. It's on Circle. Um, it's really cool. It has an app, very simple, similar to Facebook where it's, you know, you get notifications. I'm going to be able to organize everything where I'm going to have guides on every single peptide. 
I mean, every peptide that you can buy online, like I have, I got, I'm about like through 15 right now, where it's gonna have your general information overview, it's gonna have your dosing, it's gonna have my experience, exactly what I think is the best dosing. You know, I'm gonna, I'm accumulating anecdotal feedback so you can hear what other people are um, experiencing with a peptide. Really something that, there's nothing else like this because when I got into this, the information is still spread all over the internet. It's everywhere. Um, you know, there's great interviews. There's great, um, you know, a lot of um, expert interviews that you can pull. I've pulled a lot of great information from, but I mean, I've listened to five years. I've listened to probably thousands of hours of, you know, information and content on peptides because it's just what I do. I get obsessed about certain things and peptides is an obsession. But so I, you know, my vision was, hey, be cool to to pull all this information, put it into one resource so people can quickly come in, get educated, find the right information, you know, deal with some of the myths and, and you know, misconceptions that you find in these groups where it's like the, the online groups are great. Like my, I love my Facebook group, but it's hard to, it's hard to moderate and cover everything because there's some people that come in, they don't really know what they're doing and they'll start spreading bad, inf bad information. So if you come into a group and you're like, Hey, I'm going to figure this out. You know, I'm just going to ask people. Sometimes you'll get great, you know, great answers and, and guidance. And sometimes you have people telling you they have no idea what they're doing. And it's like, I try to correct that as much as I can in my group. Um, but like I said, if you want good quality information, that's what I'm trying to do with this. You know, cost, it can cost a lot to go through a clinic and doctor, which, hey, that's, if you can afford that, fantastic. Go that route. I'm trying to create, I'm trying to make a, an affordable resource for everybody because I can't afford, I can't afford to go through a clinic. Like if I went through a clinic and purchased all my peptides, I would spend a fortune and unfortunately my health is, you know, my health was messy. It's getting better, but I do rely on a number of things. So I have to find affordable options. I'm going to stop talking now. Um, any questions, comments, leave them below.